Baby Yoda! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Baby Yoda from the hit TV show The Lord of the Rings Escape from Azkaban. Isn't he adorable? I oh, love this cake. Hello everybody, my name is Julia Roberts. Let's get to it. Are you guys offended that I said Lord of the Rings? I'm sorry, I meant to say Twilight. If you guys haven't been watching The Mandalorian, then this is a spoiler because this was the reveal at the first episode, but you had three weeks to watch it and you didn't. That's on you. This spoiler is spoilers throughout this video, so don't watch it if you haven't been watching The Mandalorian. After I saw the reveal of Baby Yoda, Oh, I do. It had to be a cake. So that's why I'm doing this. Let's create this cake. We're gonna start off with his head. And I'm using a green Funfetti Dome cake. I just added green food coloring. And it looks really, really cool. I knew that this had to be special because it was a baby Yoda. This is the cutest baby of 2019. You think you gave birth to a cuter baby? At me. I dare you. At me. You're wrong. <laughs> His head isn't completely circular, so I'm making more of an oval shape and I'm just flattening the top out to create some space for his face and his eyes. This is my favorite thing and the internet is screwing with me because some people are saying that there's going to be Baby Yoda merchandise for Christmas and then other people are saying that there isn't because they're trying to keep this character a secret so they didn't do anything. And now I'm worried that I'm either going to have a lot of stuff or I'm going to have nothing. Well, make up your mind, Disney. Just tell me the truth and I'll be okay. But I just need the truth. Now I'm going to give this a chrome coat. And then after that, I'm going to start to work on my baby Yoda body. If you haven't been watching The Mandalorian, what is wrong? Why? <laughs> all of the Star Wars stuff is all I watch on Disney Plus. And I know that this cake is kind of a spoiler, but there's two episodes where you get to explore the character of The Mandalorian as well as watch Baby Yoda playing in the background, eating some frogs. It is everything. Let's create Baby Yoda's body. I am using my silicone adjustable cake mold to create this shape. If you want an in-depth look at how I create my baby cakes, I have two awesome baby cakes that I started out with. Baby George and Baby Michelle. This was like the test so that I could create more baby characters. And I'm carving out the shape of Baby Yoda and I don't really like this color green. I don't think it's Yoda green, but I think it's still a pretty fun green. Kind of like a Christmas green. You can only barely see some of the sprinkles on this cake. Now I'm going to smooth in and carve away the edges of my cake so that they're not so rough. They're just more rounded. And I'm also only using probably an two thirds of the second layer of cake because I'm going to create the top of my cake with my baby Yoda head. See, very simple shape. That's why I love making baby cakes. I've seen all of Clone Wars already, but I, I love that series and I'm watching Rebels and I hear Soka comes in at the end. Is that right? I don't know. I hope so. I like her. And for those of you who don't know who Ahsoka is, why? Why? I'm adding cream into the middle of my cake and then I'm just giving it a crumb coat. Now originally I was going to post my baby Olaf cake but I asked you guys in the community tab what you wanted to see. You said baby Yoda and I can't blame you. This, I mean baby Olaf is pretty cute but baby Yoda, uh uh. It's just, it's too much cuteness. I'm covering my face, my baby Yoda face with this really nice very it's like a it's a leaf green but it's probably like three shades lighter than a regular leaf this would be like a pale leaf isn't it so weird he's kind of ugly if this were any other baby you would think it was ugly but because it's baby yoda it's the most adorable thing in the world now i don't want this to have flat edges so i'm pushing all of my excess fondant underneath the cake so it rounds out the bottom voila and i pull it away oh do you see his face already? I kind of see it. 
Now, if you want to see more of my awesome creations, I've created a new channel called Mighty Mix. And for the month of December, I'm going to be posting all of my awesome holiday and Christmas cakes. So check it out, subscribe, and let me know what cakes you'd like to see me create on that channel. Now I'm gonna create his eyes with two black pieces of fondant. And I decided to go with a kawaii Yoda because I wanted to do a baby cake where it was just like wrapped in like the Jedi cloth. Oh. And I decided to create this after I watched the first episode and in the first episode he's just in the crib. But in the second and third episode he's walking around and after I saw that I was like why didn't I do a standing baby? <laughs> This baby Yoda is like 20 years old. I need him to be 50 years old and I didn't do it. I mean, it's funny because he is a baby, but he has the 50 year old wrinkles of a human. This little nose is my favorite thing to do. Just, I just love, look at that. <laughs> Kawaii things are the best. <laughs> Now I was very skeptical about this show. You know, Star Wars is a big budget. There's a lot of CGI. You've got to CGI the towns, all of the environments, and then you have to CGI all of the aircrafts. And there's like, there's so much detail in this show. And it, it makes sense that it's only 30 minutes because I don't know how they could afford an entire hour. Now I wanted him to have a little bit more cuteness. So I'm adding some detail in his eyes with a little bit of brown food coloring. I just diluted that with some white food coloring and some magic sauce. Yo, baby Yoda, you're looking good. Once I finished with this head, it was time to create the entire cake. So I placed that on top of my cake. And you can put some buttercream underneath the cake as well so that there's a layer of buttercream in between the two cakes. But I forgot, I got too excited. I just wanted to finish my baby Yoda. And now we've got the Jedi colored cloth. Oh, because we all know he's force sensitive. Maybe he's like the beginning of the new Jedi. Now for his ears, I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but I'm doing it. I'm holding them up with some popsicle sticks because they're really long and I didn't think that they would hold on their own. So that's why I decided to go this route. You can't see them because this is sort of like a flat cake. So it's hidden underneath his ears, obviously. Now I'm going to add two more pieces to create the baby blanket, the Jedi baby blanket. And when he comes out from the wrapping in the first episode and you see that it's a baby Yoda, I was shook. I was like this. I was like, what is going on? I was so excited to see him. When they just showed the Mandalorian, I thought this was just going to be a shoot him up sort of a show. But when they made the protagonist feel like a dad instead of a bounty hunter. I was like, I like it. I like where this is going. Now, if you don't want to do any more work, you don't have to add hands, but I love his little hands. And I really wanted to make sure that he did that move when he's in the crib and he's like this and he's stopping the big hairy rhino thing. Uh, so that's why I put one hand out a little bit further. Although I think it's supposed to be its right hand and not his left, but that's okay. So Yoda isn't actually his name. His name is baby something else. They, the, I don't know the species. They haven't told me the name of the species, but Yoda is the name of a character and not a species. But because we don't know anything about anything, this is baby Yoda. And I wanted to highlight his eyes even more. I didn't think that they were cute enough. So I painted them a mustard brown and then added two more catch lights. Then I painted his fingers, you know, he went to the salon, he had a little bit done, just so he could be even more cute. After that, my baby Yoda cake was complete. What? I, I love this. I loved it. I hate cutting into it because it was so cute. I love everything about this cake. I love all the wrinkles on his face. I love those long, cute ears and that little Jedi hand that's coming out of the blanket. I want this baby. This is the only way I'll have kids if they, somebody give me a baby Yoda. I really didn't want to cut into this cake, but it is a cake, so you kind of have to cut into it. But I felt bad. Should you be eating a baby? <laughs> I'm curious. Do you like The Mandalorian? Have you, have you seen it? Please. Why did you watch this if you haven't seen it?
It is such a good show. I was supposed to wait for my friend so that I can watch episode three with him. And then we watched episode three and he realized <laughs> that I had already seen it. Uh, but I just, I couldn't, I couldn't wait. I was too excited. Now, if you want to see more baby cakes, then let me know in the comments what character you'd like to see me babify. I've got Olaf coming your way. I've got George and I've got Michelle. And I got like two baby unicorns that I think are really cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Peace!